As the population increases, so do the power needs. Bigger and bigger factories have to be built. We have more transportation needs as well. More houses need to be constructed. And the gas passed by cows is detrimental to the environment as well. We have real electricity and gas needs. Traditionally, we get this energy from coal, oil, and natural gas. But using more of these creates more CO2. We need something different. The answer? Atomic power. What is atomic power? It all comes down to this. Uranium-235. And with the introduction of a single neutron, a rapid division occurs, creating power. This happens on a grand scale. And what about CO2? There is a huge difference between coal, oil, natural gas, and atomic energy. Let's look at usage costs. Oil is the most expensive. Gas is a little bit cheaper. Coal seems cheap by comparison. And uranium is a bargain. How much power can we get from uranium? A small amount is powerful, using roughly the size of a golf ball. The energy output is equal to 9,000 drums of oil, the same energy potential as 3,000 tons of coal. And uranium is easy to store and to transport. But is atomic power safe? Many people believe that atomic power is the same as an atomic bomb. The truth is, they are not the same. Let's make an analogy. This beer represents atomic power, and this lamp represents an atomic bomb. Both have alcohol. With the introduction of an open flame, the lamp catches fire. The same flame is added to beer and immediately snuffed out. The same is true here with atomic power. A power plant and an atomic bomb are not the same. So, it is safe. It's much cleaner than other sources of fuel. Levels of CO2 will decrease as we use dirty fuels less. Our air gets cleaner, our lives get better, and it has the ability to meet our energy needs today, tomorrow, and far into the future.